Let's get it. Let's get it on. I'm weird. Just, just have to deal with it. Hello everyone, my name is Corin Wiskman and I happen to have some, most, of the Colorado Craft Company new release featuring Anita Jerum. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Let me apologize ahead of time for all future mispronouncing of the names and the words, okay? Um, I'm gonna show you the products that I have and we're gonna make a little shaker card. Fingers crossed that it turns out. And uh, let's let's just get it on, okay? I keep most of my projects while I'm working on them in these containers. They're iris bins, um, and then I put them on my little rack here. So everything is in one place. So I have most of the new release. I don't have the dies as of recording this video, but I do have them now, so they are available. This is the Four Dad Names, and it's a great font of printed, hand-drawn, father, dad type. Oh, pop, pop. We have a pop, pop. Also in the release is for mom names in a pretty scripty font. Uh, same type of things, mommy, mama, granny, which is in our family. This 4x6 stamp set is called Proud of You, and it is a gorgeous cluster of critters, and it has sentiments like congratulations, hooray, so very proud of you. I love this from all of us in the solid uh, type of stamp. This 4x6 is called For Dad, and it has a great uh, image of a mouse dad sitting in his recliner reading the newspaper. It definitely brings back familiar memories for me. I love this sentiment, you are rockin' fatherhood. Next up is For Mom, featuring a cute little kitty all tucked up having breakfast in bed. It's absolutely perfect. And I love the sentiment, hoping happy happens all around you today and always. Next is Love Art, which is actually one of my favorites from the release because of all of the craft supplies and art theme that it has. So let's get crazy, Bob Ross. <laughs> this next set is called Amazing Mom, and the image is just perfect. It completely embodies how I feel on pretty much a daily basis of just doing way too much and being pulled in all the directions. Last but certainly not least is Dad's Cookin', and I did make a card with this, so if you're interested, check it out over on Instagram, um, at Corin Wiskman, you can find me there. And the set I'm going to use today is small but mighty. This one's called Make-A-Wish Mini, and it features a little mouse blowing on those little flowers that you wish on. I don't know what they call dandelions, maybe? I'm so terrible. <laughs> This card was super simple to put together. I'm going to start by prepping my piece of Simon Says Stamp slate cardstock, cut to uh, three and a half by four and three quarters, and then we're going to stamp with some Gina K watermark ink. We're just embossing this image. We're not coloring it. This is super simple. I'm using Simon Says Stamp white embossing powder to uh, emboss this part of the image. This is just a detail white embossing powder. Shake off a little bit of the excess, not too aggressively, and then I always heat from behind. Even when I'm any kind of powder, I heat from behind and then go to the front to finish off the melting process. To get off any excess powder that may be left on, I use a microfiber top cl cloth and then some oil from my hand. I have this little whole, uh, circle bunch. It's not a hole. It's a circle. Uh, and I'm just going to use it to cut a little circle. This is going to be our shaker pouch, our shaker uh, aperture. Just a little tiny one uh, to be in the center of all the action. I'm now using Wow's White Puff Embossing Powder. These are much larger granules than what I used on the image prior. These are big chunky uh, particles that are going to blow off of your card if you don't handle <laughs> the powder. Go from behind first and kind of melt it and get it to stick in place and then move it to the front. And when you move it to the front, this stuff puffs up and becomes like a textured fun element to your card, just like dandelions spreading all over the place, if, if that's what they are. For the sentiment, 
I am putting the make a wish from the same little mini set right in the center of that circle and I'm just using archival black because that was on my desk um, <clears throat> and it's just going to go kind of in the center of my shaker area I do it this way so that when I line up the panels to make the shaker card there's a better chance that I'm gonna line it up correctly so I'm using some tape runner adhesive to adhere my piece of acetate. You certainly do not need to use a large piece like this, but I don't use smaller cut up pieces of acetate much, so I figured I'm just gonna use it. This is a strip adhesive by Stampin' Up um, that I'm using just all over the place. Uh, marshmallow sequins, I think they're from Pretty Pink Posh. And then now I get to line it up and hopefully the Make-A-Wish is seen through the front. Hooray, it is. Now that it's all nice and adhered, I do have some pieces that I need to trim off because I'm never that accurate. So I just trim off those pieces so you can't see it and ta-da! We have a shaker card, sort of. Once I add it to a card base, which is white, by the way, hello, white card base here, which I really think makes it pop a little bit more. I also stamped on the inside, so it's a super historic day. I absolutely love the texture that the white puff embossing powder gives this. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me today. I actually put it, I made two, one on a fog card base and one on a white card base. I actually like the white card base better because I think it the, the white pops a little bit more uh, that way. If you're interested in any of the products I used today or checking out the entire release and maybe getting some more inspiration using the Colorado Craft Company release, check out the description box below. And until next time, Find me, find Colorado Craft Company on social media. I absolutely love interacting with you all.